So welcome, my beautiful friends from all over the place. It's so incredible to be able to share space like this on a global level. And I hope you feel it, the people that you're connecting with at this moment as well, we're creating a web of light around the world. Close your eyes, breathe into your low belly, and right at the area of your solar plexus, just imagine a beautiful, pure fire blazing. Your inner sun, your inner light, the Agni, and make an offering to that Agni of something you're ready to purify or something you're ready to transform. Fire is the hungry element and it needs to consume in order to exist. It needs to perform alchemy in order to be bright. This magic is happening every single moment. So make an offering to your inner fire. Actively participate in this process of transformation, of purification, of enlightenment. And we'll chant OM together three times. Inhale the arms forward and exhale. Direct that sacred vibration into your own energy field. Inhale together, arms forward and up. Oh two more times. Take a breath in, stretch your arms out and up, palms meet overhead, nice diaphragm stretch, exhale the arms out and down. Two more breaths, arms and breath. Shine like the sun. Inhale, arms out and up overhead. Interlace your fingers, stretch up, reach back. Exhale, round through your spine. Inhale, stretch forward, lift up. Exhale, round and press. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale the arms up, separate the hands, exhale nice easy, twist to your right, twist bottom to top, squeeze the breath out on the full exhale, inhale untwist, arms up, reach high, exhale to the other side, inhale center, two more times on each side, exhale twist, the focus of our asana today is going to be side body, inhale reach up, Exhale, twist. Once more. Exhale, twist. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, twist. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down. Stir the pot. Circle your rib cage over your pelvis. Allow some free movement in the pelvis. Reverse direction. Come back to neutral. Place one hand on your lower belly. We're going to come into a round of Kapalabhati Pranayam, short, forceful exhales, followed by a natural, soft inhale. It sounds like this. Make sure there's an inhale for every exhale without forcing the inhale. I'll keep count. Inhale to a comfortable level and begin. Exhale, 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 exhale. We're going to go for about a minute. Pump the belly. Press the breath out. So this forceful exhale 
is drawing the accumulated debris and toxins and gunk, ama, it's called in Ayurveda, that naturally fall down toward the lower pelvis area. We're offering this sludge up to our fire so that our fire will burn brighter. We're cleaning the bowels of our body, the bilge, the lowest part where all the leaky gook ends up, offering it up so that we can see more clearly, so that we have more energy, so that we're healthier, we're more radiant, more energized. Start to slow it down. Five, four, three, two. Exhale all the breath out. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Hold the breath out. Pause with no breath. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly inhale, fill up bottom, middle, sides, top. Hold the breath in. Six, five, four, three, two. Slowly exhale. Return to your natural breath. And we're going to chant to the sun, the Surya Bija Mantras. Hram, Hreem, Hroom, Hraim, Hraum, Hraha. We're going to do them all together. And we're going to work up our seven main energy centers, our seven main chakras, chanting all six of the Surya Bijas at the root, just below the navel, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, and crown. And it will be just like this. I'll do it one time and then we'll do it all together. Hram, Hreem, Hroom, Hraim, Hraum, Hraha. So we'll do that just like that. Root, Svaristana, Manipura, Anahata, Vishuddha, Agnya, Sahasra. And then we'll do it one time internally to purify our internal body, energize our internal body. So all together, seven times out loud, one time to ourselves. Let's start at Muladhara, start at the base. Inhale and exhale to chant. Hram, Hreem, Hroom, Hraim, Hraum, Hraha. Hram, Hreem, Hroom, Hraim, Hraum, Hraha. Hram, Hreem, Hroom, Hraim, Hraum, Hraha. Ram, 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 Hreem, Hroom, Hraim, Hraum, Hraha. One time silently to yourself. Pause in that space. I can see here, I feel it, the sun likes it, the sun's shining. Lean back, stretch out your legs, and circle your ankles. Circle them the other way. Flex and point. Stretching the feet, gets all the way up the legs, benefits the knees, the hips, the pelvis, and the low back. Bend your knees so your feet are as wide as your mat. Drop your knees side to side. And back through center, plant your feet. Figure four stretch, cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Make sure your right foot is flexed to protect and support your right knee. Lift onto your fingertips, hand, hands behind you. Inhale, arch your back. Direct the sensation into the right hip. Exhale, round through the spine. Sensation softens. Inhale, arch. Press the right thigh away. Lift the chest. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Lower down onto your elbows. Drop your foot to the floor on the left. 
and rock your knee to the floor on the right. You might need to adjust your left foot, right foot to the left, and to the right, and to the left, and to the right. Come back through center, uncross your legs, feet as wide as your shoulders, hands behind you, fingers forward. Three times, exhale, lift your hips. Inhale, slide your hips back between your hands. Two, hips lift up. Inhale, hips glide back. And one, hips lift up. Hips glide back. Sit down, bend your knees, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, flex the foot. Lift up onto your fingertips, hands behind you, mud flap girl pose, arch your back, inhale, lift your chest, exhale, soften. Inhale, arch, press the left thigh away, and soften. One more time, arch, lift your chest, press the thigh away, and soften. Come onto your elbows, drop your left foot over to the right, your left knee over to the left. Drop foot to the right, knee to the left, foot to the right, and knee to the left. Come back through center, press both feet on the ground, come onto your hands, exhale, lift your hips up. Inhale, glide the hips back. Two more times, hips lift up, hips glide back. Last one, hips up hips back. Sit down, cross your ankles, and shift around into downward facing dog. Pedal out to your heels. Let go of your head. Inhale and exhale, flutter your lips, bubble lips. Do that two more times. And switch into your ujjayi breath. Gently contract the back of your throat. Lengthen the breath. Smooth the breath. Make a gentle snoring sound, a gentle oshing sound as you inhale and exhale. And keep this thread of breath going throughout our practice. Make some big pedals with your feet. Stretch the right heel all the way down and stretch the left heel all the way down. Focus on getting some stretch in the muscles and the connective tissues of the feet. Lift up onto all 10 tiptoes, bend your knees, send your hips high to the sky, lift the gaze, look forward towards your hands, arch your back, cow tilt. Exhale, round through your spine, cat tilt. Inhale, arch, cow tilt. Exhale, round, cat tilt. One more time. And round. Come back to center. Open your feet as wide as your mat. Heels down. Heels in, toes out. Sway your hips side to side. Notice how the sensation shifts from the inner aspect to the outer aspect of the legs. And make three circles in one direction. and three circles in the other direction. Set your feet as wide as your shoulders. Three times, press from down dog, glide through to up dog. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, send the hips back up high. Two. And one. Take a step forward with your feet so you're about halfway up your mat. Heels in, toes out, walk your hands back and squat down in Malasana. Prop your knees open with your elbows, lift and open across your chest, lift your toes. 
Imagine each of your toes as a little baby turtle stretching its neck out of its shell. Lift the arches, press the knees wide, prop the right knee open with the right arm, reach your left arm high to the sky. And back through center. Prop the left knee open with the left hand, reach your right arm up to the sky. And back through center. For a little fun, Walk your hands back behind your feet. Shimmy your upper arms in between your inner thighs. Lean back so that the heels of your hands ground. So your fingers are pointing to the front of your mat. Wrists are pointing to the back of your mat. Work your legs in a little bit closer and cross your ankles so you're hovering. In Tiribasana, firefly pose. You can stay here. Work on playing with that balance, shifting the fulcrum, shifting the weight. If you want to take it farther, keep the right leg tucked, lift up through Mula Bandha, press the floor away, widen in between the shoulder blades, and send the left leg back and up to the sky in Flying Lizard. Transition back, wrap the left leg, cross the ankles, coil in, squeeze up, unhook the right leg, send it back and up, find the hover, And back to Tiribasana. Plant your feet, lift your hips, slide your palms facing up underneath your feet into gorilla pose. Massage your wrists with your toes. Let your head hang. Let your knees be soft. Massage the wrists and the hands. Step off of your wrists. Have your feet as wide as your sitting bones. Walk your hands up to your shins. Lengthen through your spine. Axial extension, big stretch. Exhale, soften down. Press into your feet. Roll all the way up onto your tiptoes. Inhale, stretch the arms out and up. Flip your palms to the sky. Drop your heels, lift your toes, squat down and back. Lift up onto your tiptoes. Exhale, heels down, arms down. Two more times. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, squat down. Inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, heels down, arms down. One more time. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, squat down. Inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, heels down, arms down, palms together in front of your heart. Stand at the back of your mat, feet together. Root through your feet, lengthen through your toes, relax your toes. Plug in the three corners of your feet, base of the big toe, base of the pinky toe, center of the heel. Knees pointing straight ahead with a micro bend. Root down and rise up. Tap into that internal fire. Engage Mula Bandha, lift the pelvic floor to continue offering up to the fire. Inhale, sweep your arms out into the sky. Grab the right wrist, side bend to your left. Inhale, center, grab the left wrist, side bend to the right. Inhale, center, exhale, hands come down to your low back. Send your hips forward, arch your back, lift your chest. Exhale, forward fold, interlace your fingers, stretch your arms overhead. Hands to shins, lengthen your spine. Exhale, walk your hands forward. Downward facing dog. Send your right leg to the sky, breathe in. Right foot forward between your hands, breathe out. Press into your feet, roll up into a high lunge. Twist to the right, send the left arm forward, right arm back, turn and look back. Inhale, arms up, ground the left heel, warrior two. Shift forward and reverse, warrior two, inhale. Exhale, hands down to frame the foot. Ground the left hand, twist the right arm to the sky. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, send the right leg back and up high. Exhale, lower the leg. First vinyasa, high plank. Drop onto your knees, chest and chin. Nice stretch for the back. Roll onto your belly, lift into a cobra, stretch the spine. Exhale, press back into down dog. Step your toes together. Let's do it on the other side. Left leg to the sky. 
Left foot forward between your hands. Press into your feet, roll up, high lunge. Stretch the left arm back, right arm forward, turn and look back. Inhale, arms up, ground the back heel, open warrior two. Stretch forward, reverse warrior two. Exhale, hands down to frame the foot. Twist your left arm to the sky. Ground the left hand down. Send the left leg back and up. Left leg lowers down, shift forward to a plank. Option to repeat, knees, chest, chin, low cobra or chaturanga. Bend the elbows, hover straight line. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Connect with your breath. Step your toes together. Send your right leg high. Step your right foot forward. Drop the back knee. Inhale, come up into Anjaneyasana. Hold it five, four, keep evening out the hips. Three, two, and one. Bring your hands down to the mat. Swivel your, right toe, your left toes over to the right so the back leg is bent. Toes turning to the right. Lead with the left arm and come into a low warrior two. Three pulses with breath. Inhale, arms come up, press into the front foot. Stack the left hip over the left knee. Bend the front knee, right knee over right ankle. Two more times up. And spread. And up. And spread. Straighten out the front leg, reach your arms to the sky. Turn your toes so they're facing the side edge of your mat. Slide your right hand down your right knee. Stretch the left arm over your ear into gate pose. Five breaths. Rotate heart to the sky. Lift the pelvic floor to get a little more access to the side body. Inhale, come up, plant your, plant your left hand on the mat behind you, connect the dots, left hand, knee, foot, right arm reaches to the sky, and then overhead, deep side stretch, the modified side plank. Inhale, reach your right arm to the sky, send the right leg up, low Ardha Chandrasana. and bend the top leg, reach back, grab your ankle, and pull half bow. Release your ankle, low half moon. Plant the right foot, inhale, come back up, point your toes toward the front edge of your mat, low warrior two. Reverse your low warrior two, inhale. Exhale, take your hands down to frame your front foot. Swivel your back foot back so your toes are, are your back in a low lunge. Three times pulse, half splits, front leg straight, front knee bent. Two, and forward, and one. Lift the back knee, sweep the right leg way up high to the sky. Bend your knee and lean, lean, lean in your three-legged dog without flipping it over. Keep your shoulders even. Look underneath your left armpit. Find your foot. Extend the leg. Square off the hips. Lower the leg. Shift forward. Chaturanga Vinyasa or anything you want to plug into that space. Lower down. Heart forward, hips back. The important thing there is to do something that will even out your body. So child's pose works. Downward facing dog works. Let's do it on the other side. Step your toes together. Send the left leg back and up. Left foot forward between the hands. Drop the back knee. Inhale, arms up into Anjaneyasana. Low lunge for five breaths. Keep lifting up and out of the waist. Keep squaring off your hips. Keep scissoring the inner thighs together. Exhale the hands down. Swivel your right toes over to the left. Lead with the right arm. Open into a low warrior two. And pulse three times. Inhale, arms up. 
Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, lift up. Turn your toes to the side edge of your mat. Send your left arm down the left leg. Gate pose, rotate your heart to the sky. Lift up and out of the waist. Breathe into the space between each rib. Stretch through your fingers. Activate your inner thighs. Instead of pushing down on this lower leg, push up and off of it. Inhale yourself up. Cartwheel over to the other side. Plant the right hand. Left arm reaches straight to the sky first to get the lift. Then reach the arm out over your ear to get the deep, deep stretch. Again, with a little bit of a rotation to the sky. Fully let go of your head. Totally release your jaw. Breathe a little bit more deeply into the seam of your side body. Lift the arm up. Scoot your bottom hand a little farther out to the side if you need to, depending on your body proportions. Lift the left leg into half moon. Flex the foot, press with the heel, squeeze with the inner thighs and the upper outer glutes. Find more lightness then heaviness in this body. Fight against gravity. Lift up and move through. Bend the knee, grab your ankle, push your shin into your hand, rotate your heart to the sky. Breath for three, two, and one. Release into low half moon. Drop the foot, deep side bend. Exhale, lift yourself up. Bend your front knee, low warrior two. Inhale, reverse your low warrior two. Exhale, hands frame the front foot. Swivel your back leg back to low lunge three times. Straighten the front leg and bend the front knee. Tuck the back toes, press into your hands, sweep your left leg high to the sky, bend the knee and open the hips. Look underneath your right armpit, find your foot. Keep your shoulders even, keep twisting through the waist and opening through the hips. Point the left knee straight to 12 o'clock, straight up to the sky. Two more deep ujjayi breaths. Extend the legs, square the hips, press through your heel. Imagine somebody's pulling on that left leg to lengthen your spine. Drop the leg, shift the body forward to a high plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Roll over your toes, lift your heart, upward facing dog. And press back, downward facing dog. Look up to your hands, soften your knees, take a full breath in, puff up your lungs. Exhale completely, hop your feet to your hands, light as a feather. Inhale, flatten your back, halfway lift. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, roll up to standing, reach your arms out and high to the sky. Bend your elbows, touch the back of your heart and touch the front of your heart. Cleansing breath. Root through your feet. Engage the pelvic floor. Fully be in your body, front, back, and side. The side body can be a tough thing to access because we usually don't. We're usually forward and backward oriented. Root through your left foot. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Sit back into a figure four chair. Lift your chest. Tilt your pelvis forward like you're lifting your duck tail out of, a wa out of the water. Keep squatting back, lifting the chest and direct the sensation into your outer right hip. Outer right thigh, IT band. Lift and spread across the chest. Yes. Keep the eyes focused. Keep the foot grounded. The arches of the foot supporting the lifting of the pelvic floor, supporting the stretching of the diaphragm with every breath, supporting the beat of the heart, everything working together. 
taking in the solar energy, burning up the impurities so that we shine even brighter. The beautiful thing about this transformation process is that often the more gunk we have to burn, the greater the transformation, the bigger the light, the bigger the explosion. It's a beautiful thing to experience. Come back up to standing and either hold on to your inner right knee or inner ankle. If you're holding your knee, stay there in the balance. If you're holding your heel or ankle, kick your foot out and up. Breath three, two, and one. Release the leg, hug it into the chest, and ground it back down. Root through both feet. Notice the difference between your two sides. Breathe into your side ribs and the seam of your side. And let's do it on the other side. Cross the opposite ankle over the opposite side. In my case, left thigh is crossing over right. Right foot is anchored. Sit back into a figure four chair. How low can you go? How deep can you bend that right knee? How much can you stretch through your spine? And find the arch in your back here. Lift your bum, make your bum as big and round and buoyant as you can. Lift your chest, widen your collarbones, kiss your shoulder blades together, and keep the lower ribs engaged. Continue to flex your left foot to protect the knee and to keep the prana moving. A little smile behind your eyes and in your heart space to keep the energy moving upwards. Find the little tiny adjustments. Where do you need more sensation? Where do you need more awakening? Where do you need more circulation? Where can you feel the energy and where can you not feel the energy? What do you have access to and what is numb, what is blocked? Two more deep breaths. Keep wiggling the sensation around, circulating the prana. And stand up, either grab the inner knee or the ankle. If you've got the ankle, kick the foot all the way out and up. Lean back, hold it three, two, and one, release the leg, pull it in, and root it down. Press through both feet, palms together in front of your heart, stand in Tadasana, and check in. Open your feet as wide as your mat and twist it out. Let the arms flop against your body, twist your hips in the opposite direction from your shoulders. Each twist creating a little more space through our side and a little more space through our spine. We're going to use this space in a moment. Come back to center, root through your feet, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, reach your arms out and up to the sky. Grab your right wrist, side bend to the left. Inhale, center, grab your left wrist, bend to the right. Inhale, center, exhale, hands to low back. Send your hips forward, arch your back, big inhale. Exhale, forward fold, interlace your fingers, arms stretch overhead. Hands to shins, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hands to the mat, step, step back into downward facing dog. Step your feet together in downward facing dog and cross your right ankle over your left thigh, put a big bend in the left knee, come into a figure four in downward facing dog. Lift your bum even higher, wag your tail. Press the thigh away from your body. Keep the right foot flexed. Walk your hands back and squat down into a toe balance. Place the heel right in between your sitting bones. Bring your hands out to the side like kickstands. Keep flexing the right foot. Stack shoulders over hips. Engage the pelvic floor. If you have knee pain in that supporting knee, this may not be the pose for you. Come into a seated figure four stretch like we used in the beginning of our practice. Left hand comes to heart, balancing with one hand. Left hand comes down, 
Right hand comes to the heart, balancing with the other hand. Keep activating the inner thighs, squeeze everything in. Hover both hands, bring your palms together in front of your heart. Hold it four, three, two, and one. Bring your hands down. Walk your hands forward, option to play with an arm balance here. Stack your boobs up over your shin bone. Wrap your foot around the back of the left, sh the left armpit. Rest your knee on the back of your right armpit, right where the deltoid muscles insert. Shift the weight forward into your hands. Bow through your upper back. Lift the pelvic floor and coil your left heel right up to the pelvic floor. Once you have that coil, start to send the leg back and up. Or not, wherever you are, stay with it. Honor it, don't judge it, have fun with it. Gently retract, come back down. Walk your hands forward. Send the right leg up to the sky, three-legged dog. Three times pulse knee to nose. Leg comes back and up. Pulse forward and back. Pulse forward and back. Bend your knee, lean, lean, lean to the left and very, very slowly and mindfully flip over into wild thing. Send your right arm back and up to the sky, pulse three times, hips down, hand between the knees, hips up, arm reaches back. Hips down, hand between the knees, arch back. And one more time. Shift forward, plant your hand, coil your right knee into your nose. Send the foot all the way over across your body to nine o'clock and lift your hips high to the sky. Outer leg stretch. Roll to the inside of the back foot. Send your left arm to the sky. Fallen star, fallen triangle. And as an option, you can reach down to your pinky toe. Bend your knee, bring your heel right in towards your belly button and kick the leg forward toward the top of the mat. Drop the hips, lift the chest, roll your heart to the sky. And let it go. Send the leg back and up. Lower the leg. Option for child's pose or plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. And down dog. Connect with your breath, ujjayi breathing. Nourishing the inner fire, can you feel it? The energy moving, the heat building, purification of mind and body. Our soul's already perfect. Big toes touching, bend in the knees, left ankle crosses right thigh, lift the bum high, high, high up. Find the arch in the back, the awakening in the left hip. Walk your hands back and squat down. Heel in between your sitting bones. Stack shoulders over hips. Squeeze the inner thighs. Focus your eyes, lift the pelvic floor. Imagine there's a string attached to the crown of your head and you're being lifted up to the sky. Imagine you have antenna on the top of your head and you're stretching them up to see what's going on to catch the frequency. Right hand to heart. And down, left hand to heart, and down. Focus the eyes, lift the pelvic floor, Mula Bandha and Uddiyana Bandha, belly engaged. Both hands come up, hug everything into your midline. Stay with it, patience with yourself, patience with the process. There's nothing that this is supposed to look like, there's nothing that's supposed to be happening. Just experiment self-study, release your hands down. Option to find the arm balance, Ikapada Galavasana. Reach your hands forward, scoop your boobs up if you need to, put them over your shin bone. Bend your elbows, chaturanga arms, foot hooks around the right shoulder, left knee rests on the back of the left shoulder. Before you do anything else, find the buoyancy, press the ground away and round the back. Spread the shoulder blades, press, 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 and suck the heel right up toward the pelvic floor. That might be enough. 
Once it feels comfortable, I don't know if that's the right word, send the leg back and up. Keep the foot energized. And pull it back into your center. Take a breath and let it go. Shift forward, downward facing dog. Sweep the leg high. And three times, knee to nose. Sweep back and up. Coil in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, rinse. Bend your knee, lean, lean, lean. And gently flip your dog over. Open through your front body. And three pulses, hips down, hand between your knees. Hips up, reach back. Two. And one. Flip back around, knee to chest, kick your foot over to the opposite side. Lift your hips as high as they'll lift. Flex the foot, trace the line from your pinky toe to your outer left hip. Roll to the inside of the back foot, fallen star, spread out in every direction. And reach for the pinky toe of the bottom foot. Bend the knee, bring the heel in towards your belly button and kick the foot over your head. Duck your head underneath your right arm. Drop your hips, spiral heart to the sky. And return a leg to the sky. Lower the leg, shift forward plank. Lower down chaturanga, glide forward up dog. Press back down dog. Now we can rest. Drop onto your knees. Press back into child's pose. Inhale and exhale, sigh. Ha. Ah. Feel the energy moving. Your heart beating. Life force strengthening. Notice the heat and that inner transformation that's happening. Slide all the way onto your belly. Stretch your arms forward. Plant your left arm in your left leg. Bend your right knee, reach back with your right hand, half bow. Press the left side of your body down, reach the right side of your body up. Breath three, two, and one. Release down, forehead down, arms stretch forward. Press into the right side, reach back and grab your left ankle with your left hand. Press the right side down, lift the left side up. And release. Stretch your arms and your legs. Bend both knees. Reach around with both hands. Grab both ankles and pull up. Open through your front, back, and side. Now soften the pull. Soften the tension. And with control, roll over onto your right side. Exaggerate the pull with your left side. And release, stay soft, roll onto your belly. And over to the left. Left cheek down, exaggerate the pull with the right. And back through center. One more time, pull everything up and away from the ground. Lift from the space behind your heart. Crack the heart open, stretch your tiptoes a little bit higher. Four, three, two, and one. Release down. Press back into child's pose. Three times, glide from child's pose onto your hands and knees.
Press back into child's pose, wrap your hands around, grab your heels, place your forehead close to your knees, and stretch in rabbit pose. Find the space between your shoulder blades at the back of your heart. Direct the awareness into your side body, stretch in between every rib, space in the neck, gentle pressure on the crown, putting pressure points on the marma points that activate higher consciousness and awakening, the process of transformation, incinerating that which we do not need. And release back into child's pose. Stretch your arms forward, roll your forehead side to side. Glide yourself up to seated and send your legs forward. Keep your left leg straight. Cross your right leg over your left. Option to stay here with the bottom leg straight if that's good in your body or tuck the left leg under so that there's a little more pressure in your outer hips. Hug the knee into the chest with your left arm. Reach your right arm all the way high to the sky. Take a full breath in. Exhale, twist to your right, twist your belly, twist your ribs, twist your shoulders. Release your arm down behind you. Heel of your hand in line with your sacrum. Inhale, get a little bit taller. With this left arm, you can do a couple of things. You can keep hugging it in if that gives you enough leverage. You can also tuck your elbow behind the thigh bone with the hand up or the hand down, or you can even cross the hand and grab onto the arch of the foot, a little bit of a deeper stretch. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, twist all the way around to your right. Keep your hips anchored, your right foot anchored. Push off of the right foot. Five more slow, deep breaths. Take a full breath in, full breath out. Twist around to your left. Bring your hands down to the mat and gently bow down. And inhale, lift up. Lean back into your hands, tuck your knees into your chest, rock side to side across your hips. Back through center, stretch your right leg long. Cross your left foot over your right thigh. Option to keep your legs in this shape for the twist. Option to bend your right knee, bringing the heel in toward the left hip. Hug the right knee in, stretch the left arm high, reach up, 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 twist to the left. Take the hand down behind you in line with your sacrum and take your right arm and do something with it. You can keep squeezing the knee into the chest. You can use your bones as leverage, upper arm bone to the outside of the thigh bone, lift and press from there. You can turn your hand down and grab onto your hip and pull yourself even deeper. Or you can thread the arm across the shin and grab onto the arch of the foot. Press the foot down into the floor, lengthen the spine, turn and look all the way behind you, hip stable, lower body pressing down, upper body lifting up, center squeezing in. Grow tall as you inhale, twist deeper as you exhale. Let's breathe here together. Good. 
Five more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, untwist all the way around to the other side. Bow down. Kiss the earth. Lift back up through the center, hands back, knees in, rock side to side across your hips. Come back through center, stretch your legs forward. Option to have your knees bent and find a bench pose or reverse plank. Hands back, fingers facing forward, lift your hips up. Open through your front body. You can keep your chin tucked to protect your neck. Look straight to the sky or allow the head to drop back. Press down and lift from your back body. Breath five, lift those hips. Activate the inner thighs. Four, press your toes down. Three, stretch from the tops of the feet all the way up the front of the thighs, all the way across the abdomen and chest and shoulders. And release. Scoot forward on your mat. Bring the soles of your feet together. Make sure you have enough space behind you when it's time to lay back. Grab onto your ankles, arch your back, lift your chest. Exhale, forward fold into a butterfly or bound angle. Soften down, you can make a pile with your fists and rest your forehead on your fists. If you have blocks, you can rest your forehead on your blocks. Soften down, breathe into the back body. If you're not using your fists for your hands, or actually even if you are, stretch your arms forward. Tilt the pelvis forward, lengthen through your spine. Walk your hands all the way over to the right. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, stretch down. Inhale, lengthen, walk back through center. Walk your hands all the way over to the left. Walk your hands as far away from your body as you can get them. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, soften down. Inhale, stretch. Walk your hands back through center. Lengthen and reach, pull from your sides, your front and your back, and soften down. Direct the breath into your lower body, your kidneys, your adrenal glands, your sacrum. Allow the head to soften and allow your belly to soften here. Notice what's holding your legs in place, the tension in the hips. Maybe it's bone resting on bone. Maybe it's resistance in the ligaments or muscles. Maybe it's the shape of your bones themselves. Meet yourself wherever you are and just allow it. Breathe into it. Nourish it, purify it, love it. And slowly, 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 roll onto your back one bone at a time. Pull your belly in. Count the vertebrae as they roll down. Reach your arms back by your ears. Rest in Supta Baddha Konasana. Arms back, feet together, knees open. Open your arms like a T. Bring your feet to the floor, knees bent. Cross right leg over left. Drop your knees over to the left. Turn your head to the right. Soften into a twist.
Come back through neutral. Switch legs. Shift your hips a little bit over to your left. Drop your knees to the right. Turn your head to the left. Relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw. Allow your bones to be heavy. Five more breaths down into your belly, down to your pelvic floor. Come back through center, uncross your legs. Have your feet about as wide as your shoulders, arms long by your sides, parallel to each other. Press into your feet, press into your arms, peel your hips off the mat, lift up into a bridge pose. Shimmy your arms close together underneath your body, interlace your fingers, press your arms down, lift your hips up, lengthen from your knees to your shoulder tips. Press down and lift up. Three more full breaths, upside down and inside out. Roll your arms out from beneath. Slowly lower down one bone at a time. Press your spine into the mat. Press your feet into the mat. Press your arms into the mat. Option to come up into the same exact pose again or to come up into a full wheel or your best version of a full wheel. If, that's, if it's a learning moment for you, you can bring your hands up by your shoulders, fingers facing your shoulders. Make sure you keep your arms and your legs parallel. And the number one thing to watch out for is that we don't want the toes and the knees to wing out. Keep your toes pointing straight ahead and the outer edges of your feet parallel. You can peel your hips up and come right onto the top of your head. That might be enough. Or come all the way up, straighten out your arms, straighten out your legs. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Expand through your sides, your front and your back. Let your head go. Breath four, three, two, and one. Lower yourself down. One bone at a time. Press your sacrum into the mat. Lift your arms up. Lower them down by your sides. Press into your mat. Press, 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 press. And we're gonna come up one more time, activating our inner sun. Back bends are the most energizing of the asana categories. So your choice, you can come up into a bridge, you can come up into part way up into a wheel, or full wheel. Hands by your shoulders, let's do it together. Press down into the mat, inhale, lift up. Shine from your solar plexus, expand the space. Maybe walk your feet in a little bit closer to your hands and press and stretch through your armpits and chest and front body. Three more breaths. And slowly lower back down. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock side to side across your low back. Pull your nose up to your knees, squeeze yourself into a little bean. And release down and into happy baby. Pull the knees to the floor on each side of your body. Gentle pulse from side to side. So we wanna nourish our dantian, our lower belly, our pelvic area with Clean, fresh blood, clean, fresh, fresh oxygen, clean, fresh prana. This is our area of vital essence. In Chinese medicine, it's, we call it the seat of Jing. 
In Ayurveda, it's the seed of ojas, that juiciness that keeps us alive and vital, virile and energized. So this is a great pose to send energy into that lower pelvic area, hydrating all the tissues down there, reproductive organs, endocrine glands. Come into a figure four, cross your right ankle over your left thigh, interlace your fingers behind your left thigh, and pull the left thigh into your chest. Flex the left foot. Breathe into the right hip. You can stay in this stretch. Or come all the way into Gomukhasana. Hold on to the outer edges of your foot. Cross your thighs. Keep the, both feet flexed. And find little tiny movements to move the sensation. Cross, grab onto your inner heels or big toes and open your legs up into a wide V. And other side, cross left ankle over right thigh, flex both feet. Interlace your fingers behind your right thigh. Bend the right knee, press the left thigh away. Sensation in the left hip and lower belly. Shoulders relaxed, jaw relaxed. Option to stay here or come all the way into Gomukhasana. Grab the outer edges of your feet, bend both knees. If you're tying your lower body in a knot, change the angles at the knee joint. Bring the heels in closer to your body or open the angle, bring the heels farther away. Shift from side to side to massage the back against the floor in different ways. Inhale and exhale a sigh. <sighs> Energy circulating through the outer hips and outer legs. Three more deep breaths. Rinsing the tissues. And open up, grab the big toes or the heels and open your legs into a V as much as they open. It doesn't matter how much they're opening. You maybe even can hold on to the inner thighs if the flexibility is limited this morning. So find the expression, blossom your flower. Some sunlight on your yoni. Draw the breath right into the reproductive organ, up the central channel, fully pranifying from the inside out. Three more breaths. Bend the knees. Take the knees together, hold on to one knee in each hand and circle your knees away from each other. And we 
reverse. Five, four, Lengthen your arms by your sides with control. Stretch your toes to the floor behind your head. Keep the weight in your arms and shoulders. Stretch back into plow. Bend your elbows, support your low back with your hands. Lift your legs up into a shoulder stand. Energize your tiptoes. Imagine your body like a corkscrew and twist your toes to the sky. And back through center, twist in the opposite direction. And back through center, energize all 10 toes and lift up, press down into the shoulders and the arm bones. No pressure in the neck. No pressure in the thumb joint. Five more upside down breaths to reverse the flow of prana. To strengthen the directional energies, the vayus. So that we're supporting our body's physiology. Stretch the toes back to the floor behind your head. Walk your feet over to the left. And back through center. Walk your feet over to the right. And back through center. Make railroad tracks with your arms and slowly roll down one bone at a time with control. Hug the knees into the chest. Apanasana. And then pulse the thighs away to stretch the line behind your shoulders and neck and soften the knees in. Two more times, stretch the thighs away and in and stretch and in. Squeeze your forehead up to your knees. Make yourself into a tiny little ball, tiny little seed full of potential. And stretch your whole body out. Stretch out in all directions, shine like the sun. If there's any other way your body needs to move, take a moment for that. And then settle into Shavasana. So we'll do a short Shavasana together. And know that if you want to take a longer Shavasana, feel free to turn off your device from here and guide your way out on your own. So find the softness, the heaviness. Let go of the resistance and simply rest.